birthday present. Now my birthday's a few weeks away, but it's something I've wanted since a very, very, very small child. So when I was a kid at lower school, we used to have a, I think it was a monthly book club, and you'd get like a little leaflet with all the different books that are out this month that you could get with your pocket money. And for me, it was always wildlife books. And I remember one vividly, a little tiny small, about six inch by six inch, little tiny paperback book, all about snakes. Now most of the snakes were North American, so I presume it was a North American print originally. Rosie boas, coach whips, diamondback rattlesnakes, rubber boas. Where we're heading? Well, we're heading to Ross on Wire, 120 miles from where we live in Northamptonshire. And we're gonna go and meet a great guy called Dave who has probably, I think, one of the best collections of snakes in the UK. Venomous and non-venomous. And of course, he loves his collude with snakes like I do. And he breeds some incredibly rare and unusual snakes, or certainly snakes that are rare and unusual in the UK hobby for sure. So really, really difficult to get stuff. I think he's got some superb contacts, but he sure does know his stuff. He knows what he's doing. And place is immaculate, the sort of place that you just think, wow, not a speck of dust, not a thing out of place, all the enclosures just look terrific, as do the animals. We've got another hour and a half to go, keep watching.
Dave's retail shop, uh, Rainforest Exotics. Um, it's packed. Well, there's a lot of cars in the car park anyway. I was hoping it'd be quiet and I'll take you in there. We'll film some of the snakes, film some of the stuff because the place is immaculate. Um, but we'll see. If it's really busy, we won't. So watch this space and we'll see where we go from here. I'll flip the camera around, see if we get a little look of his sign. Really good run back too. Um, I don't know, a couple of hours, 100 miles, 120 miles, I think it was. Uh, trouble is, by the time we got back, it was time to pour Azure, the Peregrine Falcon, away because it was starting to get dark. So, first job, put her away. And then it was time to actually, would you believe it, prepare the enclosure for this guy. This is how last minute, late notice, this kind of once in a lifetime offer came around. I hadn't even got a viv ready for the guy. So, Messing around in the snake room for the last couple of hours, really, because once you start one job, you think we'll do them all. And here it is, the Eastern Indigo snake. Massive thanks to Dave. Have a look at this guy here. He's 18 months old. Um, the opportunity to acquire an Eastern Indigo in the UK at the moment is so very, very difficult and rare. But to get one that's already 18 months old, sort of well grown on, 
It just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Not what you know, who you know, I guess. Been a long day. So, here is this most fantastic beast. Sadly, it's out of blue. It's two days away from shedding. So, you know, he doesn't look probably any worse than he possibly could right now. Another doubt to when this guy sheds, he's gonna look absolutely, utterly stunning. A beautiful snake, and it's the, if you like, the, the red chin variety rather than the pale chin, which is always more sought after. What a beautiful, beautiful animal indeed. The iconic snake of any snake collection. And He's probably going to top out at around eight feet. The males are way bigger with the Kribos and Indigos than the females. Absolutely amazing. I can't even tell you what this guy feels like. Supple and smooth, very strong snakes. They're not constrictors, they're just incredibly, incredibly strong snakes. Beautiful facial markings. think I've fallen in love. Don't tell my false water cobras. Don't tell the yellow tails. This is going to be the snake of my life. The one that you'll never forget. The whole opportunity today. I'll try and bring him up, get a bit more closer pictures of him before we let him settle in and don't disturb him for a few days. Eastern Indigo Snake. Before I do, a massive thanks, of course, to Dave. Check out Ray Frist Exotics issue if you're in the UK or indeed abroad, to be honest. Some amazing, amazing stuff. Hope you've enjoyed our mini adventure. Let's get some close ups of this guy so you can start to appreciate him. <laughs> that was the original plan to see Dave for. Now, this guy's cost me, you know, a little bit of money. They will have a financial value, of course. The amount of work and care that goes into breeding these snakes. Of course, they're gonna have a financial value. Um, so this guy sort of emptied my pockets. Um, so of course, we couldn't really bring the gray banded king snakes home, could we? Take a look at these before we Enjoy these photos of this beautiful snake now it's shed its skin and wearing its finest new clothes. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.
and we'll see you guys soon.